What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Cam Newton has come under fire for his comments about women needing to learn how to be quiet and, you know, cater to their man. And really, when he was talking about that, guys, he, he used certain terms. Um, bad bitch, boss chick. So we already know who Cam Newton is talking to. Million dollars worth of game. They have a lot of listeners of many different races. But to be fair, we know who he's talking to. Cam Newton was talking to the black community. All right. It's clear as day. But I want you to see who took offense to it. Now, obviously, black women took offense to that. But the main people that I'm seeing taking offense to it are white women, white feminists. All right. They're the ones really sharing a lot um, of commentary about it. And it's interesting that they're upset when the conversation is not even for them. But there is a reason why they are weighing in on this. OK. Because whenever the black community is trying to fix itself, I have to say this, in my honest opinion, you have liberals who are interested in the narrative. Anytime black people are attempting to do something like that, you never really hear, it's always liberals. So here are these white women getting upset when Cam Newton is not even talking about you. You're not even the target audience, okay? He's not talking to you. I don't believe that Cam Newton even deals with white women. He's not talking about you at all. But look who's commentating. White, non-black women. Taking it on their um, own to have something to say. Okay? And see, let me, let me, let me, let me just say this. We got to be careful when other groups of people are, are so offended for no reason. We also got to be careful when you get people who are idiots like Stephen A. Smith, who got something to say. Now, could he have said it better? Yeah. Yeah. W words mean something. Sure. But really, what was Cam Newton really trying to tell sisters out there? He's saying in so many words. Why do you want to be out there acting like a boss chick in a bad, when a bad B I T C H when as a guy who has something to lose, he won't marry you, boo. In fact, he's going to probably go out there and get a non black woman, which we have been seeing. It's happening at a much higher rate now. Why don't you work on everything else, but your looks? It's okay to have a nice butt or a BBL surgery, but ultimately how you treat your man and how you treat people and, and using discipline and discernment is what's going to get you to the top. Then you have white liberal women coming out being upset about it because they want to be able to control the tonality of what's happening in black America. They don't want, in my honest opinion, successful relationships with black folks because the more they've gotten involved in the black community you see things are you know our values have changed look at the marriage rates they're slimmer and slimmer you look at how our kids are what what, what they're consuming just look at the music they make in comparison to 50 years ago hell 80 40 years ago even in the 90s Hip hop, you had some gangster rap, but you had your elements of people like Keith Murray, people like Rakim, people like Big L. Everything wasn't so street violent. And, 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 but now look at it now. Ever since liberals get involved in, in, in more things in the community and have more control, look, look, look how popular drill is. Look how the demonstrative you're seeing all these young black men become towards one another. 
And when you're trying to get masculine leadership in the house, there's a problem. But but they won't ever see you, you notice the, the 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 people who rule over us, they don't have that problem. You even have senators on the left who advocate for single moms to have things and um 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 um, 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 um more resources. Notice that they're always married. Isn't it something? These people that advocate this are always married. They never live anywhere near the people they're talking about. Their kids get married. They teach their kids how to be submissive. They teach their kids how to do things. Meanwhile, our kids are out here acting a goddamn fool. And how dare you have any kind of male leadership in the black household? It's such a crime. All you're supposed to do as a black man is shut up, go out there and make the money, shut up, let the woman do whatever the hell she wants to do, and don't require her to do anything, but you're supposed to do everything. Meanwhile, the people who rule over us, they got all of their shit intact. Hmm? Their man runs all the industries, for the most part. Every successful group in America, their men run, even the black immigrant groups. You, you, you don't hear that crap coming from Nigerian American homes, do you? No, you don't. You damn sure ain't gonna hear from Caribbean homes, right? No, because they already understand what they need to do to be successful. He's the man, he earns. You woman, you can earn too, but he's the leader. And you better cook for your Nigerian husband. And sisters out there in America that marry black men, that African men, or Caribbean men in America that come first generation from there, you already know what your job is supposed to do. Don't even sit around and act like you can just do whatever you want to. You already know what you're supposed to do. Because you're not going, no brother from Nigeria or from Senegal going for that. Ethiopia, not go, you're going to be cooking. You're going to be, and you're going to be following rules. And he's going to be providing and also catering to you. It's a team thing. We have different roles. Don't make you no greater than me or vice versa. And you see how, the, look at the groups that, that do better than the black community in America. Look at the Africans. They have a structure. But white women come after Cam as if he's talking to them. He ain't even talking to them. Cam is talking to our people because he cares. I know he's created single moms himself. I understand that. But that's not the argument here. Our people are the one that's at the last place. Our women are the ones that are single. When COVID hit them, it, 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 it hit black women the hardest. Not white liberal women. Where were them since they have such a problem with Cam Newton is saying? Where were they when black women needed help during COVID? You, 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 you weren't going to support them. No, because you're men. That's their job to support you. All right. And no man is going to be busting his ass for the most part for a woman he feels is disrespecting him that all she wants to do is be a bad B and that's all she's offering. I'm sorry. No man that's doing very good for himself is going to do it. Similarly to a woman okay, who has herself together, she don't want nobody that's broke and got nothing going on for herself. Okay, and these liberal feminists out here, the, the ones that I'm seeing the ticket efficient, and I'm not saying they're all white liberal women, but the ones that I'm seeing online that are making these comments, my question is why? Why are you so worried? But they got to make the conversation about them because it's never about black women. It's always about them and their motives. If they can get black women to fi fit into this liberal feminist thing, it's always about the agenda, but then black women always get left out behind. Look at that whole thing, um... Uh, what do you call that situation that's out there? Uh, what, you know, me too. Wouldn't that sound like a black woman? White woman took the whole thing from her and the liberals and stuff, and she was completely forgot about. They leave black women out to dry, literally. And in America, you're going to have problems with trying to fix our people. Here, it, listen, they will fight tooth and nail to keep us divided. So as long as you guys know the tricks and whenever somebody got to talk some sense, they got to apologize. It's not every other group can fix their people in America. Asians can talk to their women straight, fix their people. They don't ever get involved. 
even Nigerian immigrants. They don't go by these rules. That's why they're successful. Italians, Russians, Ukrainians, they come, their people have order. The Jews, they have order. When it comes to the black people and black folks trying to fix it, they're always trying to stop it. Why? We got to stop looking for the tricks, guys. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all-time high. I'm out.